That's the problem with taking me to a market too, is like I find things that we need and Zach has to like smack it out of my hand. What's up P-Nation? In this video we are exploring Silicon Valley. So I had no idea that Silicon Valley wasn't one city. I thought it was like one place that was just like tech, tech companies and like the tech universe. So it turns out that Silicon Valley like is a bunch of cities all put together in this one valley, which makes a lot more sense now. And I just can't believe I had no idea. So like I said, there are like a lot of cities in Silicon Valley, but the big ones happen to include San Jose, which is the biggest, it has Sunnyvale, Santa Clara, Redwood City, Mountain View, Palo Alto, where Stanford University happens to be, Menlo Park, and Cupertino. Okay, so I've never actually been to San Jose before or ever really in the valley. I went to Stanford one time, but I didn't take Leah with me. So this is our first time to see everything. And I know it's just a bunch of corporate buildings here, but it's truly amazing that like technology can come and innovate in an entire region. Like I find that so fascinating. So right now we're heading toward this like Monopoly Park. And on the way there, we're walking there right now, we just looked up and was like, huh, the Adobe building. Oh, this is Adobe headquarters. Oh my gosh. I spent hours a day on Adobe Premiere Pro and like Lightroom and all that stuff. And like, it's just so crazy that this is where all that stuff comes from. And we use it all the time. And it's just like very surreal to be here. Hey guys, I have a secret. I'm not very proud of this but I've never played Monopoly. Like successfully finished an entire game. And they have a life-size Monopoly park! <laughs> Dedicated in 2002, it's the largest Monopoly park. How do you play Monopoly? I don't even know. I know there's like there's jail. It's like, you're going to jail. There it is. Oh wait, this is go to jail. So where is jail? How do you play Monopoly? <laughs> Zachary, have you ever played Monopoly? No. You've never successfully played Monopoly either. Okay, that's great. Here's jail. I think this is just like a really cute idea because like I'm not sure that you can actually play because I know you need to have like multiple pieces to win and like get property and stuff, but I think this is just so cool. You could be like on teams maybe? Again, I've never played Monopoly and that might be showing by the way that I'm like unsure about how to play it. So, I don't know, this is just really cool. Okay, so we just made it to the San Jose Flea Market, which is a permanent structure here, like on the outskirts of San Jose. I think this is really, really cool and like fun that there's this outdoor market here all the time. I've never been to a flea market personally. Zach says I have though in Ukraine when we were at that like huge market in Odessa and there was like more than just produce. It was like knickknacks and like clothes and plates and things you could buy. I didn't know that was a flea market at the time. I think we only call them flea markets in the United States. So I just think this is really cool and we're gonna go inside right now. So these huge buckets, it's just so funny, like when you enter a place that like reminds you of a different place, but these like huge buckets behind us, we, <laughs> it's bringing back this really terrible memory of when we were in China and we had to wash all of our clothes by hand in a huge bucket like that with a wooden spoon and shower water. It took five hours to wash all of our clothes. It was absolutely terrible, but a great memory. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like what we need, just like what would make our life easier right now. Do we need a big spoon? Do we need a plate? Do we need a huge blanket with a wolf's face on it? Or like sunflowers? Like what do we need? What can I buy right now? That's the problem with taking me to a market too, is like I find things that we need and Zach has to like smack it out of my hand. So growing up in Texas close to the border, unlike Leah growing up in Maryland, I had lots of flea markets around me, but I never actually went to one because I didn't want to pay the $5 to get in. Call me cheap. But I didn't know how inexpensive literally everything is here. You can get five shirts for a dollar, you can get cell phone cases for 80 cents, you can get fake perfumes, or are they real perfumes? I don't really know, for like $2, they're probably fake. But it's just like crazy how cheap everything is. It's also inexpensive. And they even have pony rides and other things over, it's like an amusement park, it's a place to shop, it's a place to eat. I don't even, this, this place is huge. 
All right, we're here on a Friday because, again, I wanted to pay a cheaper price for parking, but I guess everyone's just getting set up for the weekend. It's actually kind of cool to see everyone open up their basically storage unit, pull out all the shelves, and restock everything before people come on Saturday and Sunday. Sunday is definitely the most busy day here. Parking is $25 for entry, but I guess that's when you get all the good deals. I know you can't smell things on camera, but it, like this whole place smells like Mexican food, like tacos, it just like, smells really good, like grilled onions and peppers. And it's making me very hungry right now, so maybe we should buy something food-wise. I don't know, let's buy something. We've been needing some new suitcases. Yeah, right. Like you can even get amazing individual art here. Like I don't even know what's going on in this picture. So this is crazy that it has its own train stop too on BART, which means like you can come all the way from San Francisco all the way down here, which is like a good hour drive. I don't know how long it takes on train, but the flea market has its own stop on the line. So I wonder what the price would be if you like took the train and then you just walked in, you didn't have to park. I don't know. You guys, they even have fenders. Like, you can get car parts here, you can get juice right next door to look at your car parts. Like, this place is crazy. And we found the playground, it only costs two tickets to get in. No, I'm just kidding, it's actually free. She loves her plants. This is where we find her. Well, this is like what I would actually buy. Like this is what I actually need. We don't really need knickknacks. We don't need food. But do I need an orange tree? Yes, I do. But we're travelers. We're always gone. It's like the opposite of it. We don't need a child. We don't need a dog. Listen, I didn't grow up with orange trees or lemon trees or lime trees and California has all of them everywhere all the time. And I just like, oh, it's just so cool. All right, behind me is my favorite stand. Awesome concept. As a marketer, I'm like, this is genius. You sell pinatas, and then you sell the candy to go in them. And together, you make so much money. Like, look at all the pinatas. They have like a thousand pinatas, and like over a hundred different types of candy. We found an adult pinata. That's more like it. That is genius. We got candy. Whoa. All right, what do we have here? Whoa. We have a wafer with cow and goat's milk candy. So it's like kind of maybe like caramel. So it's like a wafer, but it's like really, really thin wafer. That's really good. It just tastes like caramel, but like very decadent. Mm. If this came out of a pinata when I was younger, I would have come after these. Probably first, not the tamarind candy. This is so good. Yum. Stanford campus, which is right in the middle of Silicon Valley. It's kind of crazy. People are probably like, why are you going on campus? Why do you go to universities? This is something we love to do where we travel anywhere. Yep. Whether it's China, Asia, Europe, America, it, it really doesn't matter. We just love going on campuses because they feel like they're so full of energy. Yeah, and you get to see young people, and you get to see people who are like, you know, they're all there for the same purpose. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's, it's kind of, it's a unifying place. So I think that's why we're so like attracted to them. These look just like redwoods. They have redwoods on campus. Of course, they're not gonna grow that big because they're new, but. of YouTube videos are uploaded in one minute, every minute, to YouTube. It's just kind of crazy to be here to uh, outside of an institution that we spend so much time devoted to in our own personal way. So to be outside its doors is like, what? <laughs> 